I Bethany, should. why should reality stars join the striking SAG union workers and the WGA writers? I think that we should have our own union and terms that networks and streamers should abide by. There are different issues. It's a different medium and some issues overlap, but there are different circumstances. We also are not really respected by the mainstream entertainment community. So what do unscripted performers need? Unscripted performers need specific language and terms in contracts that protects them versus exploits them. So I am fine. This is nothing to do with me per se, meaning I, I'm very successful. I have played the fame game and won, and it's not about me. It's about what if it was me? What if all those years ago, 15 years ago, I was paid $7,250 and my episodes were still airing today and I had never made another dollar since. Take that to the next level. What if all the, what if I said something that I'm still regretting because it will live to the end of time and still being exploited. So when my divorce was at its worst, episodes were being pumped more than ever. Was I making more money? No. When Nene Leakes' husband died or Jill Zarin's husband died, those episodes were being pumped more than ever. Do they make more money? No. Explain the Bethany Clause and what that means and how you applied it to your business because you made hundred, you know, allegedly a hundred million dollars on your deal and people would say, well, you benefited from Bravo. I was smart and I was playing chess, not checkers, and I always was looking at what was coming behind my back and I still am. The only reason that Bravo allowed me to take out the part of my contract saying that they couldn't take anything of what I would make is because I was in the beginning and they didn't think I would make anything and it was a new medium. So lo and behold, I was successful. They didn't make that money. And the reason that the Bethany clause was implemented was because they were furious and aggravated that they hadn't taken a piece of that. So they vowed never to let that happen again, as did all networks. The Kardashians are building their own brand. They're producing commercials for themselves where they're protected and they cannot look terribly bad. They will not, they will look bad enough to create content with a Dolce Gabbana argument between two sisters, but they will never look bad enough so they could get canceled because they control the show. They control the intellectual property. The 180 housewives do not control the intellectual property that they have been building. What other reality stars have reached out to you and want to help form this union or feel that they have been wronged by the industry? I got a message from Hannah Burner, Caitlin Bristow, Chrissy Teigen, Jay Wow, people from Love is Blind, The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, Below Deck, Vanderpump Rules, Summer House, Paige DeSorbo, Spencer Pratt. You know, these are people that are messaging me back. They're listening. They're interested, to say the mm. least. What do you hope comes out of this? We're needed more than ever right now. We have more leverage than we've ever had right now because we are the losers that are going to be relied upon for non-union wages. Get those losers. We'll let them make fools of themselves and entertain us. So smart people will align. Smart people will stop promoting unscripted projects right now. We'll stop shooting unscripted projects right now. It will require courage. But I will come up with 10 rules, terms, that people should ask for. And I wrote them up this morning. And one person who's one of the top 10 most powerful people in Hollywood said to me, very well thought out. I want to ask you about Vanderpump Rules. They really have benefited from this scandal thing. I don't know how it happened. It just, it happened. We became really good friends. Like I was seeking something that I wasn't getting here. And that's selfish. It's really selfish. Selfish is the nicest word you could use. They're back shooting again. They haven't come to contract with Raquel right now. What do you think about this situation? She's not the first person in the world that's ever had an affair. OK, you were wrong. You slept with someone's husband or boyfriend. It's happened. You work in a bar on a reality television show, the most toxic environment in history to nurture a relationship. That's a perfect example. I don't know what she's making. She's not making mm -hmm. $30 million a year. Yep. Yeah. She signed up for something that they entertain. They, they loved the, the drama. So she signed up to ruin her entire life for whatever paltry salary she got. She's also been seeking mental health help following the season. Do you think someone who is struggling with their mental health should be going back into that environment to do a, a, this kind of show? Absolutely not. The drug is too strong. The drug of the fame, the drug of the relevance, the drug of the money, the drug of always chasing the dragon and wanting to go back the next season and get that hit and show that you're really not the mm -hmm. terrible person they all think. That's what producers tell talent. When you've been beaten down and everyone hates you, you got to go back next season. You can't end on this note. You got to go in and show them who you really are.
But Bethany, how do you deter people from the drug of fame and TV? Because people will sign up on the dotted line no matter what. I'm saying it's our responsibility, the people that have been successful at it, that have made money at it. I'm not looking for anything except for principle. People shouldn't be watching these shows right now. People shouldn't be shooting these shows. People shouldn't be promoting these shows. You wanna go promote yourself on YouTube and yourself on Instagram? Go ahead, I'm saying, we should be stopping down so once and for all we know what we're getting paid we know when we see a residual what we're getting paid we know when we see merchandise with a brand that we're building will you lead this and help people unionize i've done hundreds of millions of dollars in relief work without knowing what i was doing so i probably could do it i can be the person mandating what's going on and understanding the decisions and meeting with important people but right now the most important thing that we haven't discussed is i want the networks and streamers to respond to what i've just said i want an, i want to hear an answer where is Andy Cohen's place in this discussion? And what level of responsibility does he have towards the housewives in that franchise that has become a billion dollar franchise, but these women are not getting paid their worth? Andy Cohen is, is very involved in negotiations and he produces the shows and he knows everything about what goes on inside entertainment. He's quite knowledgeable of what the television industry represents and what it means. And he's knowledgeable as a producer and as an observer and as a monetizer of this dynamic. His show is designed for gotcha moments to make people create headlines all over the media and then think about those for a week in exchange for them getting promotion for whatever they're doing. It's a quid pro quo. What Andy doesn't know with institutional knowledge is what it feels like to be a degraded member of reality television and a person that has experiences gotcha moments and is always the last one to know and is effectively treated like a well-paid famous handmaid.